this video, we're going to take a look at the steps we need to take in order to create a group here in Revit. Groups are one of the most powerful things that we can create in Revit anytime that we have replicatable pieces of the design that we would like to easily be able to lay out our plan. So for example, we're laying out the ground floor of a townhouse here and this allows us to more quickly lay out the plan but also be able to very quickly be able to come back in and edit the layout of this townhome in one area and allow those changes to take place across the entire plan. So let's get started with creating the group. First thing we need to do is kind of come in here and lay out the elements of our initial unit, which I've already done here uh, so that we can move more quickly into creating our group. So I'm just going to go ahead and multi-select using my crosshairs and I'm going to select the furniture and and the walls realizing I cannot select just hosted elements I need to select the wall as well as the doors so these interior walls for the closet in the bedroom I'm going to be using as well to be able to lay out this group so now that I have everything selected you'll see up here in my create panel here's the item the button that we will want to click for creating a group I'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to name this group so I'm going to call this townhouse layout and go ahead and click OK and you'll see now Revit gives me a dotted line kind of creating a boundary around the group of elements that I've placed in this first group that I've created you'll see now that my contextual ribbon appears now that we've created a group I can very easily just click this button and ungroup those elements edit the group to add other items to the to the group but let's just go ahead and move this group and to other areas in the plan so now it's as simple as hey just coming over here and we can even click copy and I'm just gonna pick an area of the plan and and just that easily I'm able to move over this unit because we're going to lay an admin space in a future video I'm just going to skip this room but I'm going to go ahead and mirror this same group to the other ends of the hallway so remember we can still come up here to our to our mirror draw access and I'm just going to pick the middle of the plan come down and you'll see Revit drops that group in for us and then let's just copy that over one more time here so see just that easily we were able to lay out that end and you can see we could actually select all of these if we wanted to and let's just go ahead and mirror them about the center of our corridor and just like that we have dropped in the units across the ground floor and I'm just gonna go ahead and move these up so that the dimension so that they all match and you'll see now we've got our units laid in across the ground floor and we've got a group that's very easy to edit so for example let's come back to this group and I'm gonna click on let's place another piece of furniture just for for being able to place into that group I'm going to click on place component and let's just add a little student desk to this room and we'll just add a desk over here so I'm gonna click on that group once again come up here to edit group and when I click on that you'll see the rest of the plan outside of this group now becomes grayed out and I you see I can just begin to add I'm just gonna click on add and now I can add this desk and I can click finish and just that easily I'm able to add that desk to all of the units that have this group very quickly so that this is the power of the groups and then I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe we don't want this dining room set in this group any longer click on edit group I can come up and I'll just click on remove and 
now you'll see once we clicked on that table it's actually grayed out like everything outside of this initial group that we're editing right now and then we'll click finish on that and you'll see it doesn't get rid of it but it does take it outside of the group so now we can separately manipulate the table in each of these units and it has no effect on the rest of the group we could do a select similar right click we could select all instances in this view and just that easily we could get rid of that dining room table if we didn't want it across the ground floor so I hope this video has been helpful it, creating groups is definitely a powerful tool that you'll want to know how to use in laying out your designs